Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, 1984. Let's continue off for last left off. So, I think we're actually starting to kind of beat East Asia. They, I mean, their infantry equipment's still looking good. But we're slowly turning the ties. Like, we've taken over um, most of Indochina here. Let's take over Hong Kong. Get rid of them out of Gangzhou. Or Guangzhou. Yeah, because I mean, most of those lands are, are going to be ours in a second. I would love to take Singapore, but like right now we don't have the troops necessary for that kind of operation. And we've got this invasion ready to go. Um, but it's just going to take some time to get the uh, required days here. You know Neo superiority. Yeah, that's fine. But we'll, we'll get it afterwards. I, mean, I guess what we could do is just like... Hey, uh, all of my navies for you two. Hold position. No, don't do this. We're going to go up like this. And then you're going to go up like this as well. I think you should get... Yeah, you'll have superiority. But for a second, just hold and hold. We have a couple of uh, ships in the East China Sea, but... I think we should be able to move some aircraft around here. How many planes you got? Not actually that many. So I'm going to send you guys to... You're going to go here. You're going to go here. Do I have more fighters in the south? No. So I'm going to send you guys to here. Just for the moment. Okay, we got Call of Duty. Favorite video game. Beans and bullets, supply rate, supply and consumption minus ten percent. Actually, that would have been really nice. Probably to have a little bit earlier, but you know, here we are. Get the units ready to go up north. We're gonna deploy this last army. Split you in half. One of you is going to also go to. I mean, I guess we might as well send one army to go fight against Indonesia. And then this last group, twenty-four stack. I am going to send you... Okay, we actually have these guys here now. Delete all your previous orders. Yeah, just, just be here for the moment. And I think Blue Army, I'm going to delete your orders as well. Your job will just be from this... The uh, border zones. Get out of there, please. Yeah, but this next 24 stack... Send it to Af I don't think I want to send to Africa. I think it honestly probably makes more sense for them just to also go to the East Asian front. We have our troops here. We will hire however many commanders we can. They might... Actually, you don't have a... You do have a commander. Okay. So it's just the Asian troops that don't have commanders. So we're going to assign you here. Technically, you have five more troops than you should. We can probably just send them down south afterwards. Actually, we can probably do that right now. Uh, do deploy here. Yeah, so you do something like this. Get you down to four. We're going to sign to that army. You guys can just leave now. Get 48 units ready to move their way up north. 71 days on you. 63 days. So how many men are we actually sending now? We're sending 10? I think 10 is like a good number for this kind of thing. And are you guys still on very aggressive? You guys are, and I think you shouldn't be. Just regular battle plans for the moment. We actually we actually are running out of uh, supplies. You know what we could probably do? Give me some more oil refineries in the south. Build them in Madagascar. Build them in Argentina and Chile, Brazil. After that. More military factories, please? Wherever military factories can be built. Because the oil's, oil is nice for sure. And Green Army is now starting to arrive. Very happy to see that. We can now have a third army in the Middle East ready to push away into Persia. Blue Army, I think, will have a relatively easy time dealing with Arabia. And we're actually about to push them into Constantinople, which is what I was wanting to do. It would, free, it would definitely free up some units that we can send elsewhere in Europe. I mean, we can use them to maybe push away into Turkey, but I don't think that's actually that important. Why are you guys here? I don't know. You shouldn't be here. Oh, those are probably the four troops I sent over to this army, but they're like, hey, this area's uh, 
Got no units deployed, so let's go there first. The absolute fools. Yeah, so you guys are still doing a good job. But send a naval invasion through. Don't have superiority in the Yellow Sea yet. Um. Naval. No, I don't want this. You guys fly up here. Fly to this airbase and fly here. Except for you. You can actually probably stay where you are. Okay, after that, naval units. Give me the naval support. Go up to... What are we missing here? 48%. Of course, we're at 48%. 48.6%. Like we could send some aircraft into the East China Sea. I think we researched the... Um, 48.9. Intel efficiency 1.1%. Please, just let me invade. We're literally at like 49 and 48%. I'm going to send one more navy up. I don't actually know where these guys actually are. I think we do. Yeah, we have an extra admiral. Send them up north. Of course, the navy, like, completely destroys our oil economy. Then you guys in here. Green army doesn't need to be pushing in with blue. Blue armies should be more than capable of handling the southern situation themselves. Oh, you guys actually are pushing your way into Turkey anyways. You know what? That's fine. Um, I'm actually going to send you here. Delete all of your orders. I'm going to send you right there. And your job is just going to be like, hey, push them out. Purple Army, you're still doing a fantastic job here. Are you on very aggressive? You should be. There's actually no troops in Turkey. Happy with that situation. Blue Army's looking okay. You guys are looking okay. I'm actually going to shrink your line down to just here. And actually, we need to stretch it out a little bit further because it looks like you've lost some territory on this front. Actually, what I could do as well is that these guys here... Delete. Send them to a northern port. So they'll be easier to reinforce afterwards. Anyone who's actually on this as well should actually just deploy into this army. What are you? You're 48.9, 48.6. Thing is, could I even build scout planes right now? I mean, I guess I could. Let's go, like, 20 factories on them. I don't know. How expensive are, are scout planes? I have no idea. I put them up to the very top for a moment. How expensive are they? They cost 20. So they're actually slightly cheaper than a fighter. Now we have no freaking oil. <laughs> but I need those oils. I need the oil captured, and I need the um, the refineries going through. Does Azerbaijan have good... It's a 44 oil. So, again, that's a nice area that we could maybe take from... Uh, 45. How much oil do we produce naturally? Yeah, there's like no one we can import it. We do produce, I think, more oil than East Asia, maybe? We actually export 135. What's our trade? We're export focused. Why are we export... I mean, that's... It, yeah, it's nice. But actually, we should completely close off the economy because spending... Any amount of oil on export, that's too much. We can't. We literally cannot export any oil. Also, who are we exporting oil to? There's literally like two countries on the face of the earth. Who are we giving oil to? We're at war with everyone on earth. I do think that you guys can actually probably make some progress. So we're gonna, I'm going to have you attack because I'm a nice guy. You probably don't think it's so nice because it does lead to you guys dying. But I'm, not, I'm okay with that. Yeah, so I mean, I think East, yeah, East Asia is just having a bad time. I do think that you guys here, hold position. You guys here, hold position. I will also send uh, enough guys off of this front to not take. I'm not too sure really actually what the penalty is for being over, but 
but I know it's probably not something that we're happy with, so we'll do something like this. Again, all of you will just hold position for now. We do got some reinforcements in China, just in case we need them. Yeah, then you guys here, prepare an invasion into the Philippines. Ready to go for that invasion whenever uh, needed. And then you guys, again, I'm actually going to have you just deploy further up north. So you can reinforce the northern invasion a little faster. We're at 40 knots. We're so, so, so freaking close. But I should. The, I mean, how, how much range does the scout plane have? I have no idea. I'm presenting two of these guys a week. How many guns do I have in storage? 73,000. Okay, I'm fine going like... And just to make these guys produce a little bit faster. I think all of you, honestly, just hold back for a moment. We're do we are making good progress. Don't don't get me wrong here. Also, all of green should be on the northern provinces. And you guys on blue army should be fine dealing with the rest of Arabia. At least I hope you are. I mean, you guys are actually looking pretty good. I don't think they'll be able to break through our breakthrough lines. And, I mean, you know, once our armies actually engage with each other, which we will look a little bit better. And we need more political power. Right now, we're getting you. Now we're more resource or one extra oil per synthetic refinery. I actually don't know how you see what factories we have. Is it in the Intel Ledger? Dockyards. Produced. I actually don't know how much we make. I'm going to assume that unnatural resources is better because we... I mean, we'll get more rubber. I don't think we really need the rubber too, too much. Just due to the fact that uh, we already own Indonesia. We have most of the rubber through them. And and um, we now also own Singapore, which makes a stupid amount of rubber for us. Send some more air or some more naval units here. I don't like what East Asia is doing right here, so I'm gonna to try to put a stop to that. Okay, hold here. I'm actually gonna break off. How many men? You have 24. I'm gonna break off a small 10 stack and just put them right here. And their job is to at least uh, push in like that. But I don't want to split our two Chinese armies. In half, I feel like that's going to be overall bad for us. Exactly 49. I have some uh, guys here. I don't know where the scout planes went. They just disappear when I deploy them. Uh, so that's cool. Um, that, that was really useful. You better naval invasion tech. You know what? Might as well get the last level here as well. It might prove useful. 48.7. Like, is this mod so old that it actually doesn't have scout plane working properly? I don't think that should be accurate. No transports, no street bombers, no heavy fighters, no close air support. Yeah, I mean, they're not actually listed in here. So maybe we actually... Yeah, let's go to a completely empty airport. Yeah, I think scout planes just don't work. Okay, so that, that was uh, a worthwhile investment. Thank you. Blue Army, you need to push immediately. Get these guys the hell out of here. They're doing, they are doing some damage, which I'm not happy with. 
48.7. And we have the north, we, have, we just don't have this area. We got planes in the area, so that's good. The run, again, this is actually the East Asian core. I mean, that's nice. East Asia currently is at 80%. Better tanks. What are we at at tanks right now? 5.5 thousand, which means that we could actually... Wait, what, what, wait, what do we research? Oh, we research mechanized divisions. Which, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not really... That's really what I was looking for. Might as well go for the next level of light tanks. 20,000 on the on the freaking navy, huh? Let me just look at our air, air squadrons for a moment. For just a quick second, I'm going to ground all of these air units. Can I set the Navy as priority here? I think I can, right? Lost ships. I thought there was a way that you could set the, um, the priority of who gets fuel. Uh, yeah, I know, I know the supplies are empty. You don't you don't gotta tell me that twice. I'm well aware that we don't have the fuel necessary for our naval units so to go anywhere. I mean, it's twenty thousand fuel right now. We make well, the army. I mean, the air force is still costing us even more fuel. I'm gonna ground these planes for a second. I'm gonna ground all of our planes. Army is still costing us some money. Costing us supplies. We have, oh, we actually have a lot of oil here. If we can take Adu Dubai. Also, I can now uh, close the economy. Yeah, we're going to lose 10% at factory output. I don't care. I much prefer the oil. Now we're making 33.7. So I think actually a lot of the air forces that we've rounded, we can now once again have them in the skies. I'm still going to actually put them over East China Sea. Again, the oil is looking better. We're, we're happy with the oil. And I believe we've cut off most, if not all, of East Asia's oil as well. And I'm happy with that. Because we don't want them to have fuel. They sell Damascus, but that's okay. This needs support. How many, how many days on until that's fixed? 154. You guys are on 11. Those are not bad numbers. Why is it? Why are you not killing this guy, please? Okay, I think you're done for now. Gonna have Blue Army actually exist maybe in Turkey. Have them push away into the Caucasus. Because again, we can take oil away from them. I will be a happy man. Because if East Asia has no oil, they cannot fly their planes. If they can't fly their planes, they cannot shoot down my planes. 49.1. I really need to figure out how the supremacy works in this fucking game. <laughs> but like sometimes it just, I'm, I'm gonna have you scout here. Increase our intel efficiency, like maybe that'll do something for us. You're now encircled, I'm happy with that. I don't think, are any of my guys in Asia, you're confident. You say you're confident as well, so you know, I'll have you push out. I mean, if you want to attack, I'll let you attack, so you know reason not to. I was actually, um, got some ships here. I'm going to have you guys prepare these areas as well. Yeah, we're, we can at least attack the Philippines, put some troops in the free Indonesia. While it doesn't accomplish our immediate goal of killing East Asia, it does accomplish one of our goals of making sure there's no free people left on Earth. Do they have troops defending down here, do you think? They do, but I'm, I'm sure if we... Uh, persuade them to abandon this position. Because after the Philippines... I can't, like, it's, it's strange, because I want this area to stay under our control. But I kind of... I, I want Japan. I want them at least to have Japan. I don't want our uh, enemies to have Japan. 
How do you guys heal with an attack, by the way? I'm gonna have you attack. I think you guys should be relatively okay. And then after this, blue army probably move here, push their way, I guess, into India. The thing is, again, India doesn't really do much for us. At least not immediately. Maybe at some point they will, but... Hard to say. Delete your plan here. You will now be... Uh, on this line up towards the river. Ink Army, you're still doing okay where you're at. Pushing away just kind of in this general direction. Again, I don't know how well you can attack. You guys say that you're looking okay, so I'm, I'm going to trust you. Even if maybe I should not. You're now been cleaned out. Red Army's looking okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad we're able to actually win. We're starting to win the war here. We have lost 1.5 days Asia. We've killed 2.2. So, I mean, those are good numbers for us. 49.1, 48.7. All of you are now on this line. And I want you to push up, but I don't want you to take the capital. Because I want Indo I, I do want Free Indonesia to stay in the fight. Again, that's assuming if... This offensive would actually kill them, but I can't guarantee that it would. Okay, next on track, we want to go for probably one more level of infrastructure to get some more resource efficiency gain. Electronics doesn't do much for us. Anti-air. I mean, what are we doing for the Navy again? We've already gotten most of these things. Naval hit chance plus 10%. That might influence this percentage in superiority and i've got to kind of i've got to take anything the game's willing to give me if you can get me one step closer to winning i will absolutely take it why are you got no please go here i'm not too scared of indonesia i'm, I'm wondering if i want to i guess i'll go more on submarines we know their naval strength. No, basically we have no idea about how many uh, naval vessels East Asia has. But I do know, at least right now, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, run a thumbs up. Now, do a thumbs down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.